My name is Ambition the Poet, and who I got here today is who's preaching right here. That's Sarah Jakes Roberts, pastor, excuse me, Sarah Jakes Roberts. Um, she came out with a book in 2014 that I think is imperative for uh, young women all across America, across America that you guys really need to read. And here is the book, Lost and Found. Guys, when I tell you that this book is a roller coaster, I had to read it to the end. It took me a long time to post something because I had to read this book to the end and really get into it. Um, it is amazing um, what this young woman has been through, and I, it's imperative that you read her story. This book goes through it. Let's just get straight to it, guys. Um, here go one right here, page 18. Now, mind you, this is the the daughter of T.D. Jakes, but she has her own brand, her own way of living an entrepreneur she's successful so i just want to give her her own name right now and she says right here if you had told the girl who got pregnant at 13 and felt like the black cheap child of america's favorite preacher would now be a 25 year old single mom divorcee author motivational speaker tv personality ministry director and senior editor i never would have believed you but knowing it's true that i'm all these things and so much more now i said the only way to get your beatings and find yourself is to trust that, that you were never really lost. Amid all your twists and turns, perhaps you simply haven't discovered the right direction yet. Guys, this book is amazing. Um, it's called Lost and Found by Sarah Jiggs. This is just um, a precept to wit is in this book. Um, she's 13 years old and ended up getting pregnant. Um, and could you imagine what that, that's like for any female, but let alone um, the child of T.D. Jiggs national or global known another part she talks about um, going through her struggle she says after years and years of trying to force the stars in my life to align I had given up I had stopped trying to make people be who I wanted them to be in my life I had released people from the roles I wanted them to play in my life and instead let them define themselves just like the stars everyone in my life had fallen into the divine design I could see clearer than ever what God was trying to show me all along. And when you go through the story, guys, I can't give it to you because you gotta read the book yourself. But when you go through the story of roller coaster, her being pregnant, um, her feeling that um, they kept asking even at that young age, would she be the next TV Jigs? Instead of her finding her own identity, the struggles of being in such a shadow um, impacted her greatly. And I feel like this story reminds me of a lot of people who are struggling to find themselves, whether their, their sister is famous or whether their parents are famous. Um, this book really sheds a light on that. And I think um, that's what I really um, got out of it. But let me, let me go a little bit deeper. Go another one. Um, she says, now this is good because the mind she's pregnant at 13. She recovers though. She goes to college, but then she still finds herself in a bad situation. Just to give you a snippet of what she's going through her. She says, sure, waitressing at a strip club wasn't the ideal job for a daughter of Bishop and Mrs. Jakes, but I had to survive. It took too much work, hope, and energy to attempt to live my dream. My co-workers at the club had no idea who they were working with that didn't bother them or me. Well, guys, here we have a girl was the daughter of a pastor. She ends up getting pregnant at 13. She goes to college, but she still ends up losing her way and ends up working um, as a waitress at a strip club. Guys, this story, this book, is a roller coaster. And somehow, somewhere, she found her way to be one, have one of the biggest blocks, being the author, and today, a pastor. However, this book was in 2000, I believe, what's that, 14? Um, but guys, this book is amazing and it just shows um, where you can come from. Even in the shine of your parents or someone who's special or somebody who has the limelight, you still have to find your own way, guys. Um, this book is called Lost and Found by Sarah Jakes, Pastor Sarah Jakes Roberts. I implore you guys to get this book. Um, it's amazing and I thought it was a good read. All right, well, guys, hope to see you soon. Remember, my name is Ambition the Poet. You'll know what I do. And I am the author of From the Tongue of a Foster Child. Um, get that on Amazon. Thank you.